Hello and welcome to AutoCode YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Uh, today we are going to learn how we can implement uh, static application security testing or SAST uh, as part of our uh, GitLab CACD pipeline. Okay. Um, so in the last video we have seen how we can implement container scanning and before that we have seen how we can implement uh, uh, dependency scanning as part of the pipeline. And today we will go to the next step, like how we can implement SAST as part of the GitLab CACD pipeline. Right? So as I mentioned in the previous uh, videos also, like uh, uh, GitLab is a Git DevOps tool. So, uh, so sorry, it does DevOps tool. So it is having the security features that is already enabled within the tool. Uh, so in order to make our code or the department more secure, it is better always to go with the security features already available within GitLab. Okay. So let us understand what is this uh, SAST and uh, how we can uh, add this within our uh, uh, CACD pipeline. Okay. So the platform of SAST is like a static application security testing, and uh, there is one more testing called dynamic application uh, security testing called DAST. Um, so there is a, a wide difference between both of these uh, concepts. Okay. So one of the benefit with the SAST is like it's like a white box of testing, so it doesn't need a runtime application uh, to be available, but instead it will directly use the source code or the code developed by developers to scan and to identify what are the vulnerabilities. For example, the SQL injection of uh, site browsing, all these kind of issues can be easily identified using SAST. Okay. So if you're using GitLab CACD, you are used to, you can use uh, SAST to check your source code for non-vulnerability. You can run SAS analyzer in any GitLab file. The analyzer output JSON formatted or report as a job artifact. So one of the benefit is like it can uh, easily identify the issues and can generate a report in JSON format. Also, that will be available in the security tab in our pipeline as well. Okay, so that is very, very important. So one benefit is like before doing the code merge or before doing the deployment, we can easily identify the SAS issues. But the, in the other side, if you are going with that DAS means it, it will run in a runtime application. So we need that application to be deployed, then only we can identify the issue. Okay. So uh, that is one good benefit with the uh, SAST. Okay. And uh, these are the different tiers and all, and I'm not going to look into it. And uh, there are other requirements like uh, how, uh, what are the prerequisites for running this SAS carry. So as you all know, like there are uh, shared runners that is already provided by GitLab. So if you are going to uh, use the shared runner, you don't need to consider this. Okay. But if you are going to use your self-hosted runners, then uh, Linux GitLab runner is uh, required with the Docker and Kubernetes executor. Okay. So it is mandatory and Windows runner are not supported and the CP architecture other than um, AMD64 are also not supported. Okay. Then uh, GitLab CACD configuration must include the test CC states, okay, because by default template is using the test CC. And if you want to override that, you can override it as well. Okay, so which is included by default. If you define those pages in the GitLab CA.yaml file, the test stage is uh, required. Okay. Um okay, so this is a thing, and uh, these are uh, different languages that uh, uh SAS can be support like Java, JavaScript, Python, C, C, uh, Node.js, PHP, React, Ruby. Okay, so it is having a wide list of programming languages that uh, GitLab is supporting for the SAS scanning. Okay, and uh, here you can see the different analyzers as well, like uh, uh, which you can use for uh, doing the um, uh, scanning. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let me go down. Um, okay, so this is how you can add the app uh, in your uh, pipeline. Or uh, if you scroll down again, you'll be able to see. Yeah, configure app in your CACD uh, YAML. So this is a documentation provided by GitLab itself. So I will do one thing. Let me add it in the current template. So this is our current project. Okay. So let me add this uh, job as part of our template. Okay. So if you add this template itself, by default, it will do the fast scanning on the code that is currently available. Okay. So if you want to make some changes, I already opened the template as well here. Okay. So this is the template. Okay. So here you can see there are some few uh, predefined variables here. If you want to modify something, you can modify. 
and uh, here also the link for documentation is already provided okay and uh, uh, if you scroll down here you can see there is a fast stage now and here the stage is a decline right and if you want to modify the uh, stage what you can do you can just call this particular fast and uh, uh, you can modify the uh, stage to whatever the stage that you want to customize okay and then the report uh, you can modify as per uh, your need and uh, report path okay then variable depth if you want to modify you can uh, modify so let me search this okay so let us see what are few of the variables that are available okay so search max for depth so uh, here you can see few of the variable like a two variables as well uh, which you want to uh, uh, which you can modify as per your need okay so uh, in our pipeline we are using the test uh, stage so we don't need to modify so in case if you modify uh, something what you can do is just try it uh, okay. then if you want to improve this case just add your uh, uh, uh name okay maybe something like this okay like this way you can modify but currently we are using test as the default stage so we don't need to make these uh, changes okay and uh, um, let me go again to here and i will tell you how this flow is happening actually okay so here we can see fast and this fast is getting used by another job that is the fast analyzer and here only the script is getting executed like analyzer and run okay here only the execution is happening but it is extending fast as the job okay then again if you scroll down uh, as this is a java project we have to use the sender for fast and here again you can see it is extending fast analyzer okay so if you want to modify the stage or something you have to call fast job and you need to modify the uh, job name okay because uh, that is in that stage only the stage is uh, highlighted okay and if you want to modify some values you can uh, modify that okay so that's how the flow is happening and uh, let me do one thing okay so maybe i will do one thing uh you know to keep in our uh, template okay actually this is not a code even if you are not adding also uh it will work fine so i will do one thing let me remove this first this artifacts then pass okay so let me keep it like this okay uh, let's see how it is going to work okay i'm going to click on commit So let it uh, commit and uh, we'll go to our pipeline and see whether it is working or not. Okay, so here I just added uh, that uh, stage just for uh, showing you like how you can modify the software. Um, in our uh, requirement, uh, you don't need to add this as well because we are using the stage as a touch. So we don't need to add here itself. Otherwise, also it will uh, uh, work fine without any issues. Yeah, here you can see it is uh, adding the subgrapper soft. Okay. Yes, so the soft scanning is also completed here. Let me open that job. Okay, so here you can see it has uh, completed the job and generated the artifact and it uh, attached the artifact. Okay, so let me download it. Um, 
okay so here we can see this is the report got a generated okay so if there is any vulnerability so if you search with vulnerability itself you will you'll be able to see that but currently uh, there is no vulnerability added here okay so we are not able to see any uh, vulnerabilities um, okay so that is uh, uh, one thing and uh, let me go back and we will go to pipeline and let me go to security okay so there are no vulnerability and you are able to see the SAS uh, uh, report as well here in the SAS okay if you want to download it or you can just click on download and download the course so this is the benefit of implementing the scanning like uh, you can directly view all the issues directly in the security tab and GitLab will suggest you the solution as well okay so currently what we have done like uh, we are doing uh, the image uh, build, uh, sorry yeah um, I think here once okay yeah we are uh, doing the uh, build uh, artifact generation then we are doing the uh, image creation then after that uh, we are doing the testing like unit testing then these are the def uh, default scanning that is offered by GitLab like uh, container scanning the neighbor dependency scanning and uh, central for SASC right so all these things we have uh, covered as of now so if there is any confusion related to um, all these jobs that uh, um, we have discussed you can directly put in the uh, comment session i can look into it and i can provide a solution for you okay so hope you uh, like the video and uh, find it uh, useful um if you like the video please uh, uh, subscribe to our channel and like the video and uh, don't forget to uh, share with your friends so thanks for watching the video. Bye.